Hello, all you beautiful people. How in the world are you? Well, today we got a good episode for you. We're going to be working in all of this right here. Well, we're going to start working on it. We have to take the truck in just a few minutes, get it worked on. Hopefully, we'll get back here this evening, be able to do some more stuff, get it kind of finished, and then tomorrow we'll finish it up. But right now, what we got to do is these peas are falling down on top of our corn, and our corn is getting covered up by all this lush green growth right here which I didn't think was gonna happen, but I'm glad it did. So what we gotta do is we gotta trim up some of these greens. We're gonna eat these leafy greens, okay? And, uh, but we're gonna trim them up for right now and put them in a basket. We'll get them weighed, we'll get them all that stuff that way because we're gonna eat it, so we're gonna get it weighed and stuff. But for right now, what we're gonna do, the first thing we got to do, we gotta get over here and get this tied up. These peas have decided they're gonna run wild on us. And so we gotta get it tied up best we can here and uh, get these guys on the right track because they're wanting to fall out. And I don't know why, but every pea that we've got this year has decided they just want to run out here in the middle of everything. And that ain't going to work out. That just ain't going to happen. That ain't going to work. Can't let it happen. I don't know why they want to go out this way. And then we got to replant some of this corn. Some of it came up. Some of it didn't come up. But whatever. we got to get it replanted. So we'll replant some of it, hopefully getting some of these peas up off of them on this side. Anyhow, we'll kind of help them a little bit. But nevertheless, uh, we got work to do here. So get these all staked up here, hopefully. I have to move several strands, I'm sure, keep them up off. I don't know why they're being so stinking cantankerous this year, but they are. And that's just how things go around here. Anywhere, really, if you, if you think about it. Anytime you're homesteading, that's just what happens. Things never want to cooperate with you. And it's just part of, part of life. And you make do with what you got. So, so we got the peas up. That's a good start now. Get in here and start clipping and cutting. And then after that, we'll re sow some corn. This is, uh, this corn here is, um, can you think of it? Well, it's, uh, goodness, mercy sakes. I know the name of it. Peaches and cream. There we go. <laughs> Didn't think to save my life. All right, now, these here are rutabagas. We're just going to cut some of these rutabaga leaves off here. They don't need all that leaf. We'll cut these off a little bit. We'll eat these greens. So they're good greens. Rutabaga leaves make good greens. So if you're not eating them, you should be. Don't throw them away. If you don't want to eat them, sell them. <laughs> Somebody will eat them, trust me. Or if you got animals, just give them to the animals. The animals like them too. So multiple ways of, of uh, taking care of that. You got too many leaves there. But we're just going to cut some of them off here today. And make us a mess of them this evening for dinner. Okay. So, while I'm cutting this up, put y'all on time lapse so you guys can watch the process. We'll go down through that row, clean it all up. So we got that row. There's a couple rows there cleaned up a little bit. I believe I'm going to give them to about the end of the week. And then I'm going to pull a lot of this stuff out of here. Uh, probably pull the whole row of rutabagas right here in a week. Uh, probably pull this whole, well, by the end of the week, pull this whole row of turnips uh, by the end of the week. Um, probably will let one of those uh, giant plants there the, with the white on them go to seed i'll let one of these turnips go to seed probably let probably what i'll do is let 
this plant right here, this is a giant radish. I'll probably let it go to seed right where it's at and then let this turnip go to seed right here and then take everything from here back, all those turnips, and then from there, that way, take all those out of there. Take that whole row right there of rutabagas out of here. Uh, I'm gonna go get me a small tiller and, uh, and once those are up, I'll take that small tiller and run in between the rows of corn. Um, get that, I'll probably leave the kohlrabi and the beets there, um, I, but I will probably remove that end down there with those wasabi radishes out of there, get them out. These radishes are going to seed. They're pretty much ahead of the game and that's the last row right there for the corn anyhow. So what we'll do is we'll let that one finish off going to seed. I got more radishes coming up. We'll pull all those at one time replant that entire row at one time because i got tons of radishes uh that we just got so uh we got a game plan like i said we'll let this kohlrabi finish off let those beets finish off um and then once this corn gets up about two foot tall i will replant the rutabaga i will replant the turnip and the giant uh radishes and those wasabi radishes down there once the plants get about two foot tall so they can kind of shade out anything uh, as far as weeds could go, but they also will keep those cool enough to where they'll they'll germinate, we'll be able to grow them, but they'll be cool enough to where they won't uh, they they won't get burnt by the sun and they won't bolt up underneath that corn. Uh, by the time they get up and really grow, and the corn will be two to three foot tall, or excuse me, three to three to four foot tall. You won't have to worry about it uh, as much. So that's the game plan. Uh, but right now, let's go on ahead and and, and plant some more of that uh, corn now what we have uh we have several different things of corn we're going to plant all of it today uh, this is the uh, peaches and cream corn that we have uh planted in these rows right here there's one two and three uh there's a, about a, a quarter of a row right there and then i so i'm gonna plant this other end right here with it too um but we'll go in here we'll fill in any gaps or anything with it and uh and stuff and then uh we'll go over to the other side of the yard if there's still time and we'll start making us some hills over there and planting some corn over there we got two different types of corn uh that will grow over there so we have a total of, of uh of uh four varieties of eating corn this year um so that'll be, be a lot of fun uh, but yeah so i'm gonna start getting this stuff in the ground here we gotta get out of here and go put the brakes on so when we come back this evening or tomorrow, uh, we'll do some more work in here, hopefully. We'll start planting more corn over there. We got several different things of corn we're gonna introduce y'all to. So see you next time. We'll see you when we get back. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we got pretty much everything here established and ready. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna take a couple of these stakes and put them down. Then we're gonna start planting stuff. So this stake right here, it's gonna go right here like so i may have to move it some yeah let's move it here put it right there and i'll put another one right here like that all right um then we'll put one right here like so we'll have to buy some more line and for a while we'll buy some we'll buy another thing in line and we'll put it right here where this is ending at but for now we'll do that and then wherever it ends we'll get the rest of these uh the rest of these rows here filled in uh but we'll do that as soon as we order some more pipe and stuff all right so we got that uh let's see here now uh we're gonna start running drip line uh down through here on these uh areas here and uh really don't need to see that it's pretty self-explanatory we've already done it uh, we're just going to punch holes, and every one of these lines right here, we'll put, um, we'll put one of the uh, drip tapes on these rows that we've already got pre-installed here. Those, these rows are pretty much in line with one another. I will have to make a new row or two in some of this, um, but like I say, they're they're pretty much, they're pretty much in line. So we'll. Uh, We'll get that done, and then uh, uh, trying to see. I think we only need to cut one row in. I think 
Uh, the rest of them should be pretty good. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I, I ain't going to show you guys us doing this. It's just no need to even put it in the video. Just telling you what we're doing. We'll get our stuff. We'll put in the drip tape on these lines here, and we'll actually continue them all the way down to the bottom of the of the hill there. So uh, let me get that stuff going, and we'll bring you back as soon as we're done putting that drip tape in. We got it all put in. You can see we've got it stretched all the way down into the fence, all the way down over the hill to the second pumpkin patch. Uh, we have a little bit left. I think we have enough to do a couple of these rows here. Um, so we'll see, but we're not gonna do it today. We're gonna start planting today. So we're gonna go get peppers first, start with those. Start putting the peppers in, then tomatoes, and uh, it's 4.08, so we'll have to see how much time we got because tonight we have special guest on our live stream. Sandy from Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming, Arizona, is gonna be on, and we wanna be prepared for that. So no last minutes, getting in, getting a shower, getting, eat, you know, getting something to eat, and then getting on. Okay, we're going to be prepared for her because she's worth the wait. So get this uh, kind of lined out here. We haven't, we did one line, the first line here that you see, we put it, we, we actually tacked it down, uh, but we didn't tack the rest of them down because I want to see where we're at when we get done planting, and then we can put them down. Of course, we're going to be over the holes. I just didn't want to cover them up too bad. So let me go get everything that we need, readjust the camera, and get you guys ready so we can start putting some peppers in the ground. All right, my peeps. So we're gonna do these first few together. And then uh, after that, put you on time lapse and we'll get out of here. We'll put it on time lapse and we'll just roll with it and get it done. These are yellow monsters. Yellow monsters are very, very big uh, bell peppers. They're like 10 inches long or something like that. And like four to five inches round, really big, um, supposed to be very good producing. I've never grown yellow monsters this first year, so we're going to try them out. But anyhow, uh, what you want to do, what I do, let's put it that way. What I do is um, I have my Azos. Now, I have already treated this with our 7 dust. I put 7 dust already in here, and I tilled it in with the amendments. But just as another precaution, I'm going to put some down in the hole. Then I have my Extreme Gardening Mycorrhiza. And versity mixed up in this right here all right that we'll put down in the hole this is blood meal mkp and um uh let's see blood meal prevagenics uh mkp uh and then um platonics uh soluble seaweed extract okay and it's mixed all together in this beautiful fine looking stuff here and we're gonna put that down in the hole as well uh covering all bases now i did amend all this i tilted all in and everything but we're just covering our bases the best peppers i ever had uh i mean as far as production went has been over the past few years and this uh some of this stuff is what i used and i think the rest of it that i haven't used will just help increase that production i've had 70 pound plus pepper weeks the past two years, 2021, 2022, I was harvesting 70 plus pounds of peppers per week. So that's pretty daggone good, if I say so myself. So we're going to get these uh, put in and we're going to get them done. Now, how I do it is I take my handy dandy auger right here. <laughs> More power, as Tim Allen would say. Tim, the tool man Taylor. I love that show. We need to bring it back, Tim, if you don't mind. Do us all a favor bring us back to a society that can have fun and laugh at stupidity, tools, manliness. We need that in our lives, Tim. We need it in our lives. That'd be a pretty good TikTok. I may have to make that in a minute. Anyhow, what we're going to do, take the auger. Goodness, and then hit a rock. Battery's already dead. We need more power. <laughs> That didn't take long, did it? Oh, from the hollers and hills of West Virginia comes a new comedy brought to you by Ryan. <laughs> All right, guys. Ah, let's see what we can do now. More power. Oh. 
Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, B. All right, now, like I was saying, a little scoop of this, put down in the hole. <clears throat> a little scoop of this, down in the hole. A little scoop of that, put down in the hole. By the time you put a little scoop of everything down in there, you're going to have a, a lot. <laughs> and then we just stir it all together like so. Put the plant in the ground like so. Backfill it like so. <clears throat> now again, this is just how I do it. You don't have to do it this way. It's not a must or have to it, but i do think that this stuff helps or will help you know because like i said i've not used it all some of this stuff is new to me use well not new i've used it over the winter but it's new out here in the patch and so and i don't think we're going to have any different stories out here than we had out there i can't stand it, that grass had growed up there now that's a yellow monster right there Hopefully the crows will not come pick that out, but they will probably. So going to the next place here. And that's just as. Even after tilling it, it's hard like that. Ain't that crazy? Even after having tilled it like I did, it's still just as hard as a rock. All right, back to what we were doing here. One down in the hole. Two down in the hole. Three down the hole. Four down in the hole. Stir it together. Put the plant in. Bury that snail with it. Don't want no snails. Can't believe how hard that dirt is still after even having tilled it. It's still hard as a rock. Definitely got to get a cover crop in this this year. I believe that right there is probably my biggest problem. I'll have to get the broom out here and sweep all this excess dirt off of here, but we'll get it done. So we got 79 plants put in today. 79 pepper plants put in. We got all of our sweet varieties 
going in up here in the top half this year. Yeah, all of the sweet ones go up here in the top half. Two, three rows of tomatoes. Then we'll have our hottest ones down here along that bottom row. And then our mild ones will be those two rows right through there. All right. So, and then everywhere else will be tomatoes and uh, eggplants. And then up here in the top half, we'll be putting squash and corn. Um, so, you just stay tuned for that. We'll have corn here in this one. We'll have corn up there in this, right through there. So, getting it all pulled together finally, starting to come together. Thankfully, thankfully, thankfully. So, tomorrow's another day. But, guys, this has been a pretty tried and true method for me the past two years, harvesting 70 plus pounds of peppers every week. Um, this has worked, worked well, and I would think it would work for you. I believe with this drip irrigation system, it's going to work even better this year. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and I believe some of the other things that we added will, will be beneficial. And some of the different things that we're going to do, we're going to increase those yields. So stay tuned for all that. Guys, we appreciate you watching. And as always, we'll see you next time right here in the Hollers and Hills of West Virginia. Don't forget to smash that like button. That notification bell. <laughs> Don't get the zap. Good job. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you. Don't get the zap. Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.